This is No You Are Earth and I have the enormous privilege to be here with Luby McNamara at her place which is Applewood Permaculture Centre and we are learning cultural emergence. Now you may not yet have heard that term so Luby please tell us about it. Well, cultural emergence is a toolkit that we're developing which enables people to really feel nourished and empowered, connected with the land, connected with themselves, connected with each other, connected with our gifts so that we can really shine out in the world. And with the connection with each other, then we can really learn to collaborate and co-create with each other, which will then enable us to emerge a new culture, something that we actually can't quite to see yet what are the properties of this new culture, this regenerative culture that then can bring us into alignment with each other, with the, with the planet as well, so that we can uh, stop the destruction that's happening at the moment. Yes. So to me, to be here together with you and be working with this, it really does feel like we are growing the strength and the clarity to become the people that we need to be to shoot off in our different directions and spread that hope which is so important now you know it's like this inner nourishment mm. that empowers us to go forth would you like to say something on that yes though i mean you've actually just put it so beautifully there really um it, i think with the idea of emergence is that when you and i come together there's something new yeah. that can happen yeah. that is actually beyond me and you. It's, uh, and so when you get a whole group like that, when you get a whole community like that, a whole family, all of it, then you actually <coughs> can create really radical change in the world. Yeah. And that is the message of hope there, really, because we're, there's so, we're bombarded with so many statistics at the moment about this percentage is dying and this and, yeah. and 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 it can feel quite disempowering and confusion confusing um cats come to say hello <laughs> uh, he likes to come and explore when we're out walking and um he um with the idea of emergence then actually we don't know what can happen. It's this idea of discontinuous change. So we might be on this trajectory here and all the scientists and the predictions are like, ah, it's all going to end yeah. in X amount of time. Yeah. Actually, with emergence, we don't know. We don't know where the tipping yes. points are for earth repair yes. and radical earth restoration. Yeah. So it's almost like um, opening a box of surprising treasure. Like we've just got no idea really of the gifts within us, within the whole system around us and the way that we interact together and how that can all just manifest into to something we cannot imagine. And what a wonderful, wonderful thing that is. And we're on this edge, this exciting moment where we don't know the next step. And yet all we can do is listen and feel what it is and take that step even with wobbly feet yes and just trust that there will be somewhere to land that foot yes to take the next step yeah and the next step and that we're when we come together in empowered collaboration yeah then that that step that next step actually might be a giant leap into something absolutely amazing and incredible yeah. Yeah. yeah, and what I find really brilliant about doing this work with you is that uh, there are many, many brilliant groups around doing fantastic things together, but they often seem to gather around a disaster, around some point mm. of, oh no, let's get worried about this. But with what you're doing, we're gathering around potential and we're gathering around hope. and Possibility. Exactly, and it just... It feels really right and good and powerful and I feel better having been here with you. Mm. So really thank have, you. Have, yeah, have you found surprising gifts in yourself in this time we've had together? What, what it's been for me is that um, 
I have had my gifts that I didn't recognize myself affirmed and instead of being kind of a bit weird <laughs> I've um, been seen and it feels like there's been a yes to what comes forth from me which starts to make it real and it starts to make it something that I can genuinely offer to people with the confidence of the kind of truth mm. of that gift. Mm. Oh, it's thank been you. great. <laughs> thank you. Thank so, you, um, thank you, Libby. How can we offer? I guess I think we already have offered hope and inspiration mm. to anybody who's mm. watching this video. Is there anything last that you would like to say to end this time together? Yeah, just in terms of uh, shining your gift and finding, uh, helping, uh, supporting others to find their gifts is like actually open the, the door to that through appreciation, through what you do in the world and maybe offer yourself as a mirror, a reflection for who someone else is as well and appreciate them. And through that process, then we can all shine our gifts in the world and who knows what will happen. Then yeah, anything is possible. Yeah, it, 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 it's wonderful, isn't it? Because it's actually very, very simple to see another and to appreciate and give thanks. Mm. It's, it's not complicated and it almost seems like nothing. And yet it is this power yeah. that holds it all together. Yeah, it can change everything yeah everything inside and then everything outside from that yes so thank you thank you thank you for your part your your focus and your intention to step forward as the change maker that you are and the gifts that are within you mm. i will put all the links for luba's wonderful stuff like and I really do mean way better than I had thought. And I was expecting <laughs> good <laughs> with this video. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Yeah. See you later, folks. Bye. <laughs>